Welcome to Last Garage. Let's get started on the BMW. Welcome back to Ralph's Garage. I'm Ralph, this is my garage. And I uh, just want to give you a little update. Started working on the BMW. This is probably going to be the bulk of my content for a little while. It's going to be this car. I'm putting a 5.3, an aluminum 5.3, an LM4. Uh, from This is from a Buick uh, Rainier. Rainier, however you say it. Uh, I'm putting that in this uh, BMW and I'm using TR6060 from, I think it was a 2014 Camaro SS. I went ahead and I, I ripped off the front end. I uh, just temporarily set this back in place. Started cleaning out the engine bay, different things I don't need in there. AC stuff, I'm not gonna be running AC, so I deleted that. Things that I didn't need, I started, started cleaning up the engine bay and just getting it out of there. Today, what I'm gonna focus on is cleaning up the LM4. I want to start test fitting it. I need to make a mount for the transmission. I need to get measurements for drive shafts. I wanna get the motor test fit in the car, get it situated where it's gonna live, take the measurements for the drive shaft and fabricate the mount. And then I'll take it back out and I can finalize things. There's a lot of work to be done. Different steering shaft I have to put in, whole new fuel system to relocate the ABS pump further up underneath of the master cylinder here, or I'm gonna relocate it up to this area. I haven't decided yet. Do all this heat shielding, I'm gonna take that out. Like I said, today I'm gonna to be cleaning up the LS and uh, I'll time lapse cleaning it. I gotta get the pressure washer started because it's not running. So that's gonna be a project in its own. I'm not gonna film that. I'm just gonna cut to it running. See ya. I do the old uh, dollar store oven cleaner trick on the motor. The pressure washer uh, fired up. So I'm gonna lay a tarp down. I'm gonna get the motor outside on the tarp and I'm gonna spray it down let it sit for a little while and uh, pressure wash it off. So um, let's get to it. I got the engine sprayed off. Uh, well, I got it soaked in on the uh, the oven cleaner. This is cheap oven cleaner from the dollar store. It's a great degreaser. I always clean engines with this. So hopefully it'll be half as clean as the JDM engine that we put in the Subaru because that thing you could eat off of. pressure washing it for the first time uh, with the oven cleaner and I'll take you out there show you what it looks like with just no scrub just spray the oven cleaner let it sit for five minutes spray it off with the pressure washer we'll take a look next time we're gonna spray it with oven cleaner we're gonna let it sit and we're also gonna use a brush to scrub the the areas that are being stubborn we'll hit with a brush and uh, it should come out looking real real nice it already looks really nice so let's take a look Second cleaning on the motor is complete. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's way better than it was. All right, so I'm pretty excited to get this project going. I've had this car for going on four years, I think. I just slowly been collecting parts to put an LS in it and to switch it over to manual. 
I filmed this video once already where I laid out the parts that I have. I've since gotten a lot more parts in and my rookie mistake, I, uh, I didn't have any audio in my video. So that was all scrapped. So I'm gonna do it again. I just pushed the BMW outside. I'm gonna lay out the parts that I have for it here on the floor. We'll take a look at what we're working with and uh, see what else we have to get. Probably make a punch list of things to do. Just overall intro to the project and what I plan on doing with it. Yeah, so I'll be back. Let me lay some stuff out here and I'll be right back. I got everything laid out um, on the garage floor now. So let's go through it and we'll see what we have and see what we still need. When we see something that we still need, I'll throw it up on the board here. So far, I know right off the top of my head, I still need a drive shaft and I still need the, uh, the LSD rear. So we'll add to this list as we go. Okay, so obviously let's start at the front here. We have the stock BMW radiator. I'm gonna put on the list here, pardon me while I shake you around. Uh, let's put um, maybe need. May need. Rad. Motor mounts, LS6 intake. There's a bunch of stuff for the motor that we're waiting on. Lifters, I got the, I think they're the LS7 style lifters are supposed to be the better ones. I got those. I have new lifter trays in this box here along with a math. Intake, we're gonna need an intake. Intake, look at that. You like that chicken, chicken scratch? The F-body oil pan's on its way. Uh, they shipped from different warehouses, so I got the, the baffle to pick up the dipstick and the dipstick tube and an oil filter. Some hardware in here, oil pan bolts, that kind of thing. I'll probably need some more. CX Racing um, headers, and they're also the CX Racing motor mounts. They're not the best, but it should be okay. The guy that I got the, the this kit from was doing drifting, and they you know they held up to that abuse so i assume they'll hold up fancy red coils that i had left over from i was going to put these on the trailblazer but i never ended up doing it and in order to run these coils i got some ict billet brackets some coil brackets so a little bling for it not for any particular reason just because i already have them clutch the tr6060 the bmw is an automatic so i got a clutch pedal we need a slave cylinder shifter this is a MGW shifter from what I've been guesstimating about the location that I'm gonna end up with for this transmission. And it's really, this is really gonna determine on the test fit. But inside this box are brackets for the shifter and it should land the shifter right around that area there. And that should be pretty close to the factory BMW hole for the shifter. A full exhaust, I have the Y pipe here and then I have this, uh, this is the, the rear section of the exhaust. Steering shaft, fuel line kit. It's not the best, it's kind of cheap, but it should get me going. Corvette filter regulator. Obviously I have the motor. That is a LM4 5.3 liter aluminum block. Um, and it is from a Buick Rainier. I need power steering and alternator brackets. Power steering slash alt alternator brackets. LS1, I believe. Double check that. These heads are gonna get passed off to a buddy of mine for a project that he's working on. I have a set of these, the same heads basically. The, these are 862s, same exact same exact casting. 
uh, but I have the pack uh, 1218 springs in them the one that uh, sloppy mechanics always uses so I already have those installed so I'm just gonna use these heads I have a sloppy stage 2 cam that is in a an iron block 5.3 that's in my dad's garage that's where those other heads came from I'm gonna be ripping the cam out of that putting it in here I was originally gonna use that but I found this aluminum block on a deal so we're gonna go with this one I cleaned it up earlier today I used the uh, dollar store um, oven cleaner and it worked pretty good so it's looking nice and nice and clean now but that's what I have I have this fan I don't think I'm gonna run this fan I, I'm not a big not a big fan of pusher fans <laughs> So I'm probably gonna ditch this. I'm not running AC. This is the AC condenser from the BMW. Uh, so that's kind of in the scrap pile. This is all scrap right here. The, I pulled the AC lines off and everything. That's all going in there. So let's put fans. Fans. Maybe just one fan, maybe two fans. I don't know. We're gonna definitely need some other miscellaneous stuff, but the bulk of the large items are here. I have a wiring harness and an ECU on its way from Siki uh, Manufacturing. So there, that's going to be a plug and play. Just plug it into the BMW round connectors and uh, it should go. Yeah, so that's, that's where I'm at with this. Uh, I have most of the parts and I'm ready to get started on it. I really need to get the motor test fit into the, uh, into the engine bay with the trans bolted to it so I can measure for a drive shaft and fabricate up a trans mount once i then i can put my order in for my drive shaft while i work on everything else so i think that's first on the agenda is to get the engine bay ready to accept the motor and the transmission without headers nothing just the motor transmission bolted together so i can get my measurements and uh, order up a drive let me clean this up tuck all this stuff back away and uh, i'll push the bmw back in here and We'll see if we can see how far we get preparing the engine bay uh, to bolt that motor and transmission into it. Damn, son, where'd you find the What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work in the engine bay. I'm just gonna work on kind of getting rid of some of the stuff that I don't need. I wanna get these old motor mounts out of here. I'm gonna start by pulling the, this power steering line off. We're not gonna be using that one. I think it is size adjustable. The fluid's probably gonna come out. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna retain the banjo bolt. I keep that because uh, we're probably gonna need the banjo bolt. Probably not going to need a line though. So I'll keep that, that line over to the scrap pile. The next thing that I'm looking at is the motor mounts. So let me wipe my hands off now. Let's see what we got going on under here. Under here, yonder. Oh yeah. Uh, it looks like a big nut that holds that on. You do not have an impact gun. I don't care what brand. DeWalt, uh, Milwaukee, as long as it's a decent one. These things are awesome. It's worth having. Worth spending the money on. Here's that gun I was talking about. Aha! Garbaggio. Your mounts are out. What else can we take out of here? We can get this heat shielding out. It's probably known to cause cancer in California. I think I'm gonna get a knife. I mean, there goes all the way back there. Okay. Let me go get a mask. I don't wanna catch corona from my car, you know what I'm saying? Where'd I put my knife? Anybody see? Well, here it is. Ooh, this is great. Can't see. Fogs up my glasses. Woo. Stuff's nasty. Stop. Stop. 
Let me, uh, let me get, get this one out here. At least with the mask, you guys can't see the stupid faces that I make when I work. I don't know. You guys do that too when you're working and you make like really dumb faces. I do that. Oh. I'm really glad the whole trans tunnel piece came down in one. I really want to lay under my back underneath of that and pull it down. So I'll figure something out for the heat shielding. I might do that gold tape stuff along the uh, firewall. We'll see. Sorry if you can see the microphone in the frame. I, I broke another microphone mount. I, that's three microphone mounts so far I've broke. And we're on episode one. So uh, you do the math. I don't know how many episodes this is going to be, but... If you want to donate a microphone mount to me, let me know. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. All right. Well. Okay. The heat shield's out. Let me bag this up. I just uh, was cleaning up the mess, and I just thought of one more thing that I need to add to the list. Let me find my shark. Uh, power steering pump. Power steering pump. I have an alternator. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work. I think it is a truck alternator. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll, when we get down that close, when I'm looking for accessories and stuff, I'll figure it out at that point. But power steering pump added to the list. All right, guys, I think, uh, I think this is where I'm going to leave episode one. Um, I'm not sure how many episodes it'll be. It'll just go until it's over. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to number them. I guess I am now since I called this episode one. We went over what parts I have, what parts I might need. We're probably gonna add to that list as we go along. I'm sure I don't have everything that I need. And I'm sure that I need more than what's on that list right there. Just to go over it again, uh, we still need the drive shaft. We need an LSD rear, we need an intake, a BMW master clutch cylinder and clutch line, power steering lines, a power steering and alternator brackets, fans, power steering pump. We may need a radiator. I think I'm gonna get a radiator, probably one of those aluminum Aluminum ones off of eBay or something like that just to we cleaned up the engine bay the motor mounts off got rid of that disgusting Whatever you call it the heat shield. That's what that's where we stand today I think next time we're gonna work on pulling the shifter out after we do that stuff. We can do a test fit of the motor So maybe the next episode we'll do a motor test fit. Thanks for watching Like comment and subscribe. It really helps out trying to get more exposure on the channel hopefully my videos can help someone out that's doing this kind of swap. Have a good one, and uh, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to break this camera. I'm going to break this camera, for sure. Probably going to need a new GoPro before this. Video.